Hi guys, it's Josh Lloyd here, just giving you guys a quick video tutorial on how to use Draft Tracker with ESPN. ESPN has changed their system, making it a little bit harder for us to read their data this season, but we have established a workaround. It actually works for auction drafts, which it never used to in the past as well. So that's another way that uh, I guess uh, it's a little bit harder with the snake drafts, but it actually gives you that ability in auction drafts now, which it didn't used to. So what you need to do, you need to go here to your settings, set up your league, league settings, make sure you've chosen ESPN as your provider. As you can see, I've done that go across to Draft Tracker, which I'm going to now. And up in the top right corner, you can see this button here that says Use Manual Draft Tracking. Click that checkbox and you'll see an editor appear. It says, you know, we cannot directly read draft results from ESPN, but you can manually update the results as follows. On your ESPN Draft page, select Pick History or Auction Summary, select the whole page, Control A, copy the page, Control C, and paste the results here. So I'm just about to go into a draft at the moment, waiting for this draft to kick off, doing it as a mock draft. And you should go and do some mock drafts and practice using this setting. You'll have to do this a couple of times. Now, previously, if I had auctions on ESPN, I'd have to go in and tick every player off manually, tick the columns for another team or for my team, and then push refresh. So this is a little bit easier in that regard. It's uh, it's it's uh, you know two two uh, com key combinations control A control C and control V I guess to paste uh, so it's a little bit you know, it's not as as perfect as as we would hope it to be I'm still working on other ways that we can do it but this is is the way that we can use the ESPN draft tracker at this point so I'm opening the draft at the moment see the draft here is about to start and you can see that's all the players there and there's that tab there that says pick history so when we get to that. When some picks are made, I'm picking at pick one. I'll go in here, I'll go to pick history, I'll select all the picks, I'll paste the picks, I'll copy them, and then I'll go into the draft tracker and update it and we'll see how it works. So we've got a couple of minutes here before it kicks off. All right, so the draft has started now. I'll go in here and pick Anthony Davis for my pick as number one pick. Of course, that's who you should be picking in nearly every situation. Um, I'll let Jacob make his pick now, and then I'll go through and I'll do the update of the, the pick history and show you how that updates in the draft tracker. If Jacob hurry up, and, and well, if he doesn't, let's, let's just do Anthony Davis out. So push control A, push control C. Let's go and do that. Push import. All right, so there you go. My team is Team Lloyd, correct? Anthony Davis is on my team. That's how you do it. So let's go back and let's wait for the next pick to go down. Make, let Jacob make a pick, let a couple other teams make a pick, and we'll see how this works. It is pretty straightforward. It's not as ideal as just pushing that refresh from ESPN button or refresh from Yahoo button, um, but it's not all that difficult to get that workaround to happen. And again, it does work for auction drafts, which it never did in the past. So this that's a step forward there um, it, with this, you know, trying to work with this new system that ESPN has put out and uh, you know, getting, it, getting it fixed is obviously a priority for us getting it to work for all you guys who do use ESPN for your fantasy basketball drafts. Team Jacob has joined this uh, mock draft and decided to not show up, so shout out to him. Um, yeah, letting this uh, clock run down, but after he picks, we'll let some of these other auto teams go. And we'll be able to import a few of these other ones and see how it all works out. I'll show you that. In, uh, in 10 seconds or so, once uh, Jacob's pick comes in, ESPN still has Giannis ranked at number two. I just cannot get behind that at all. Their rankings are weird. There is still some value, obviously, in in, uh, in doing uh, drafts over here, getting some of those picks in. All right, so Giannis is off the board. Some of these auto picks are going now. Going to go all the way through. Let's let them all go through until we get back to uh, to my pick there at pick 20, and then we'll update it all and show you how it all looks over on the draft tracker. Once all these uh, picks go through into the second round, I'll make my first pick here. I'll just pick whoever's the top of the list, and then we can see uh, how it all imports and how it all looks. All right, so it's my pick. Let's pick, uh, why is Victor Oladipo available? Let's pick Victor Oladipo. All right, so that's that. Pick history, Control A, Control C, back over here, Control V, import. And that's going to give us 20 picks that have been made. You can see there where I've got two players, 20 picks of 156 are done. I'm Team Lloyd. And there's the projected standings. Me at the top, all the other teams there, my team, my team analysis. That is how you do the ESPN draft tracker with the copy-paste method. Hope you guys uh, get it now and it all works out perfectly for you. See ya.